Already? Okay. Hello, viewers! PK94 here. Welcome back to Breadcrumbs. Joining us again are pretty much the same people from last week, except for Lewis. He's not here. No! We do have Nate, Shadow, Dave, and Sayu, though. I Hopefully, I'll stay this time. Go <laughs> to thing. And thing. There we go. I need to. I can't see you. Video. Okay, I'm here I now. Alright, so hey, this Dave week, is. the topic is the Pigeon Legion itself. Which is going to make more sense as we get things going. One of the things that we are going to talk about, because somebody keeps asking us to talk about it, is the topic of recruitments. Now, as we get this started, let me just say, I am not opposed to people being added to the Pigeon Legion. I am opposed to people being added at random that we don't know. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Um, so, that being said, I had more I was going to say immediately after that, but I am like totally blanking right now. Sweet. Um, we should talk about it. We're still going to talk about this, though. Like, okay. The group itself has always been more a group of friends than a guild thing. So, like, yeah. like once again, I'm not opposed to adding people. I just don't want to do, like, a public recruitment or anything. Because, like, it's a group of that's amigos. just, that's, that'd be more like a guild thing. And that's not really what we are. Yeah, originally it okay. was, but, you know. Like, originally it kind of was, but kinda. it's really not... Yeah, after, anymore at yeah, all. After all. Like, if we do add people, I'd rather, like, like if you find somebody you think you want to add, introduce them to us first, you know? Look, this is XY. You might like him. They're a Pokemon game? <laughs> How did you know? Sold. Add them in. <laughs> Shit, like, that's loud. So I figured talking about that also kind of answers a question a lot of people have had a lot so back when I did Attack on Titan, like, how do I join the Pigeon Legion? Ah. Something we were asked a lot. <laughs> and usually my answer was like sarcastic or something along the lines of go to stop games. Real? At this point, it's like pretty much you don't unless one of us really wants you in for some reason. So good luck. Hey, how do I join the Pigeon Legion? Uh, okay, you need to tap dance on the surface of the moon for five hours straight while recording it and eating a chicken sandwich. And then you have really to turn really the mic up. A chicken sandwich that. must be, like, eaten I'll do one of those five like, hour time frame. Like, that's commitment right there. Like, if, if someone wants to get in the Pigeon Legion that bad, See, if they we actually should, like, we should did that, they'd probably suffocate because they'd be on the moon. No, oh, but what if they're, like, an astronaut? Not, or, but you yeah. kind of have to not be wearing a helmet to eat the sandwich. <laughs> You well, well, let's just have it in there or sandwich the helmet, and I just guess. have it next to your head. Yeah, but you have to eat the whole sandwich, so good luck with that and, like, no gravity. Mm, no, if it's see. floating around in your helmet. Wait, but you can, like, shove your, like, arms like, through the sleeves and just, like, you know? I feel like it's not as easy as you might think it would be. Why would mm. it's, like, yeah. it's just close enough. Why would the suit yeah. still be working if you could shove things through and out? No, 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 I'm not talking about, like, two of the things. She meant, like, pulling your arms out of the sleeves of it? Yeah, like, the sleeves. What <laughs> you do with the shirt. Like, uh, the space, space really, helmet thing has, like... I think, like, the suits are too stiff for that, because they have, like, the air pressure and if stuff, have, and they keep it exploding. If I have a friend that, like, pulls in their sleeves, I immediately just do a knot in their sleeves. They struggle for, like, a good five minutes, and I just... I don't know what you're talking about with the sleeves, but, I mean, I just... Like, if you take out someone's sleeves, obviously they have the little dangly thing. Yeah, <laughs> but, I mean, what if they have, like, short arm... And just like tie a knot as fast as possible. And the, uh, you just see them kind of struggling, trying to take. And I, if if I'm really mean that day, I'll push him. <laughs> like wait, 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 wait! You what? What are we talking about? He's gonna push an astronaut. You're gonna, you're gonna shove an astronaut shadow. Maybe. <laughs> Off of the moon. Okay, so shadow, you're the one who kept wanting to talk about recruitment. What do you have to add? Uh, I just wanted to talk about the Pigeon Legion history. <laughs> history. We have a history. We do have a history. Wait, how long? Dirty history. We started off as a very small group. I think Ace was the first member. He has gone on to bigger and bigger things. He left us. <laughs> oh, yeah, more. speaking of that, apparently he did want to join back in, but he talked to Shadow first instead of me. Because you were like, me. Shadow didn't get back to me immediately. Because you were like, why can't I? Why do you. This is such a horrible thing. He was streaming. I saw the stream. He saw. You know, like, I'm, I'm, no, I'm not saying it's a horrible thing. I'm just saying, like, I'm the leader person. So why did he not go to me first? Especially when forever ago I messaged him about it and he just ignored me. Like he never responded. So I, I, I thought like he didn't want back in or something. Well, I sent them a Minecraft meme and he didn't respond to that either. So I think it's kind of over between us. Wait, who? <laughs> hey, he must not even know who you are. Yeah. What are we talking about? 
Ace. Of course he knows who made it. You know, the guy who left us and now has like over 30,000 subscribers because of only Minecraft. Well, maybe you should join the podcast and then it gets more popular. <laughs> Don't worry. I still have Yo, plans but, to try uh, to make that I happen. should talk about me we'll like in, point two seconds. So, actually, I'm going to add Nate. And me and Nate, before the podcast started, like right before, we found <laughs> out we're wearing like the exact same pair of shorts. Like, this is the, the same shit, man? This is... The same like, pair of pants. I take them off and show them to So, you basically, them. Nate is wearing size shorts. Yeah, man. We're like share it. We're like, we're like. Yeah, he's just behind me, invisible, and he's in my. He is your well. chair. Oh. Yeah, I'm like. Nate is your chair. Oh my. Sit on me, so. Oh my. Oh. <laughs> Wait, shit. Oh fuck. I have the exact same legs here. Wait, what? I have the same legs too. Oh, oh! I wanted yes. to talk about my dream. So. I have them in my fridge. Right. To stay cool. Wait, you had. That's why right. you had dream stuff. To talk okay, about. so dream stuff. So, I before going to sleep, I was like, okay, I gotta set up alarm around like five, five thirty, so I can wake up, study for Spanish, because I Spanish speaking assessment, which I did not take today because he didn't get through everybody, and I'm like, mm hmm, and then work on some homework, right? So I do the alarms, I set them all up, which is like ten or something, I don't know, seven, hmm? and I wake up, right? Or at least I think I wake up, because from what I remember, my dream had my alarms in it, and they were going off, and I could see them on my phone, and like, and there was some weird thing going on where like this dude released, or released, I think, an, like parts of an album at like certain times, <laughs> and that's all I remember, I, that's like all I remember. I'm pretty sure I was like half asleep, half awake, because I mean, I think I woke up. I heard uh, alarms in my sleep. Are you still asleep right now? This is all a dream. Just like slap yourself. You're gonna wake up and be like, "Fuck." I don't know. That was not. A, that was. Fuck! Definitely. I have to I say for Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> and then my second dream, which happened like immediately after, there was no connection between these two dreams. I am in the kitchen. I'm in a kitchen. And there's a Norwegian dude. I don't know why. I don't know how I know he's Norwegian, but he's apparently Norwegian. He's... You just know those things in dreams. Yeah. yeah. He... Or like around the sink or whatever. And there's like some fucking like organs or like parts of meat and stuff of animals or maybe butcher? humans. I don't know. And they're in like the sink. And I guess the sink is large enough so it can accommodate like a heart. Because I think I threw a heart in there and just went straight down. You threw a heart. I suppose. I don't All right, know. Well, well, it. I think I could grasp some sort of idea of what's going on here, right? So no, you, you get those people, right? Who are always all, all your dreams mean stuff that's happening to you. I believe that Sai might be a butcher. I'm not a butcher. I hate me. I think that Sai might be a murderer. Yeah, she. Her Norwegian self is the counterpart of her uh, brutal, her yep. brutal um, other side, you know. But no, this Norwegian dude is telling me like that fats or sodium or something comes from like the colored part of the meat, and that's it. That's what. That's all I remember. I guess I woke up around that time, and I'm just. I'm so confused. But yeah, speaking of dreams, though, mine like never have any continuity. Almost, it's just like it goes from one thing to a completely different thing. It's like. That is just like my train of thought. <laughs> yes. I think there's I, um, a connection between dreams. I only had like one like Sorry, not going. I've had continuity like dreams were like, oh okay, I was kinda of just thinking about that. But like most of my dreams are just complete random shit. Yeah. I remember um I remember I had... having a lucid dream and then I woke up in sleep paralysis. Oh boy. One experience. Um so I was sitting there and I couldn't move, you know, like I'm sure everybody's heard of sleep paralysis at this stage, right? It's happened to me at least once. So I, I'm sitting there and I couldn't move, and then but there's the this down. guy in my room, he's just a big black guy. Not saying he's mm -hmm. black, but he's black, he's like Like dark. a shadowy guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's got like these yellow eyes, and he just starts walking, mm -hmm. like pacing up mm -hmm. and down my room, I'm like, what's going on? I'm there's actually a die. lot of st people that mention things like that happening to them with like sleep, sleep and paralysis. And then, oh, sleep and paralysis, here's I listen. I listen, right, and I hear this stomping up the stairs, because my bed's, like, beside, well, my bedroom's sort of, like, just a bit to the left of the stairs. I hear someone, like, thumping up the stairs and, like, coming for me, so I'm like, oh, I'm going to die. This is it. I can't move. And, like, and then the guy just disappears, and I'm like, 
and then I can move again. I'm like, what is going on? This yeah, there's like theories that your brain does that to you to like scare you to get your blood pumping faster to like get you out of sleep paralysis faster. Mm, no, I heard sleep paralysis is caused by lack of oxygen oh. or something like that. No, no, like it happens because like when you're asleep, you're paralyzed, so it, you don't like, so like. So you don't start punching things while you're asleep or something. It's yeah, not yeah. moving. Woken up like so, like, so, like if you wake up in a certain like you guess have to. But like dream hallucinations are caused by like lack of oxygen, and I suppose your like body's just frozen in a sense. That's what yeah, I've really, ever seen. By, like like that being said, you see things when you dream. Like so, yeah. like, that would be like saying dreams are hallucinations, which I guess wouldn't be too far fetched to say. Yeah, that wouldn't be too far fetched. Yeah. I don't think. Has anyone woken up, like, scared or, like, crying or anything? Uh -huh. I, yeah, I have done that yeah, multiple I, times. I recently had, like, a horror dream or some kind of that, including, um, weird clowns or something. God. <laughs> and I don't even, and I'm not even afraid of clowns or anything. It was just, like, I'm not afraid of them, I just don't like them. Yeah, same. Yeah, who likes clowns? Oh, well, so I used to like actually, I used to pretend to be a clown because I used to work at a circus. <laughs> I'm not uh, joking. Yeah, so I'm not being genuinely serious. Really? I can yeah. So you were like a child clown? Well, I guess if you want to call that, I was just a clown. I was uh, in makeup and shit. A clone? Clown. Cl clown. Does everything <laughs> I say have to clown. be mocked? He was That's a clone just how it is. Clown. Welcome to the Pigeon Legion. <laughs> Everyone sign up here. You get, you get remarked if you have an accent. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know, you know, it scares me to be waking up scared because like I don't know why I yeah. get scared. It was <laughs> I had the weird, I had the stupidest scared dream though. <clears throat> it was um, you guys are gonna laugh at me. <laughs> I was just I was just sleeping, and not sleeping. I was just like minding my own business. I don't know who was there. Uh, their name was Ryan. I remember that name. I don't think it was Ryan from Achievement Hunter, so I just, it, I might have been, but it was, their name was Ryan. And then I think the person was just like constantly like messing around my things and like um, changing them, like my room. And I kept thinking it was that person. And uh, I was just like, yo, stop changing my room. Stop like messing around with these things. And then like the person goes, it wasn't me. And then like I look at my amiibos. <laughs> <laughs> All the like heads are just changed, and then from there, I see like every single head of the amiibo is changed, and then like I wake up scared. I'm just like, what the hell was that? Okay, but I mean, like speaking of that, I remember one time I had a dream. I don't remember the specifics, but like I woke up and I was scared. And later on, I was like, wait, why the fuck was I scared of that? And then suddenly I was yeah. fine. <laughs> the thing also also is it's very difficult to like um, get rid of the thoughts that you had like in the dream to get, get to don't to not think about it anymore. You know. We're trying yeah, like if it to was go a scary dream, especially. Yeah, when you're trying to go back to sleep and you're still thinking about it, and then like, it kind of comes those... back, and it's like the dream 2.0, mm -hmm. and you. I, I, I have that happened. The most recent one I had it was kind of a while ago. Like the most recent horror dream I had it was a while ago. But I know I remember it involved Slenderman. That's about all I remember. <laughs> yeah. And I woke up and it was dark and I was like freaking the fuck out. <laughs> so. uh, my I remember most recent uh, horror dream. I suppose. Was... I think I talked about this last podcast or something like that, but I like... have this um this big dirty ass dream catcher. Uh, my sister brought it back from Ibiza, but it's like what? what? Nothing. What? <laughs> right. So, <laughs> so it's about the size of my head, doubled, so it's massive, God. right? And it sits right above my bed. I swear to you, right now. I haven't had a bad dream in about three years what since I got fuck? this shit. I swear, I haven't had a bad dream in about three years, except for that sleep paralysis. If people wake me up suddenly, like without, like if someone just tasks me like to wake me up, and I don't expect it, I get scared. Like the other day, I was sleeping. I was just taking a nap. I was taking a nap like everywhere. Oh and shit, my... that's gonna scare you. And what? <laughs> oh shit, that's gonna scare you. Yeah, and like I was just sleeping, and then like my dad was just like there checking on me, and he like pokes me, and like I jumped the fuck up, like I just pretty much threw my blanket in his face. It is inside my house, by the way, if you can hear that. Oh, that's what that noise was. I didn't think I I I thought the rain was sort of hearable, but then I hear the lightning, so now it's I'm pretty sure it's very loud. Not really that, but it's lightning. 
<laughs> but yeah, so going back to the sleep paralysis thing, I know, like, I said it happened to me once, but, like, the dream I had before that, it was not a lucid dream. I'm pretty sure it was not a lucid dream. I've never had a lucid dream as far as I can remember. It's a lucid like, when dream. I, when I woke, it's like when you're in control, fully in control of the dream and, like, aware that you're dreaming. Mm. You, like, do I'm whatever you want. I'm pretty sure they're linked somehow, I have, I have and I can't remember how. Like, like, I, like, usually, I've heard, like, the whole sleep paralysis thing happens more, I guess it just is more likely to happen if you had a lucid dream, but I did not have one, but I still had sleep paralysis when I woke up. I was also on the couch for some reason. I don't remember why I was sleeping <laughs> out there. But anyway, like, I woke up and I remember seeing, like, something that just scared the shit out of me. And then I woke up, or not hmm. woke up, but like wasn't paralyzed anymore. So like that's that's just creepy. Uh, my dream, I think, uh, again, I think I said this on the podcast, but I was like, the only scary part was like towards the end of the dream because like the other part I didn't find scary. But I was eye level with the trees, and all the branches were like this ash brown color, and like there's a spider on my hand, and the fuck freaked the fuck out. Because whenever I see bugs in my dreams. They're usually mass amounts, or they're massive, and this bug was massive, or racket, it was massive, the size of my fucking hand, and it ugh, clarified the fuck out of me. When I woke up, it wasn't sleep paralysis, I don't, I think, at least. But I wake up, and I'm so physically weak, I can barely turn myself over. Mm. Like, I was really tired. I, was, oh, I think I, I remember. Again. What? I remember what I was going to say, right? I'm... <laughs> I've got two instances where a friend of mine, like my, a friend of mine sleep talks, right? Mm -hmm. And he's like really close to me, so I stay in his house a lot. But it is the funniest shit, right? So the first time, right, was <laughs> it was like the, two years ago. And he's sitting sleep talking, and I'm, I'm sitting on my phone, and he's all, You forgot the key! You forgot the key! I was all, What key? What key? He's all, he's, and he just says, B flat. As in <laughs> the music. <laughs> The yeah. music. <laughs> nice. I'm like, oh my god. And before we were sitting, um, and we made pot noodle, which is like, you know, instant noodles, I guess you would call them over there, in a cup. Mm -hmm. And then, um, so basically, he has this hot water tap, and I or boiling water tap, and I just put it in straight away, and I did, I did it too much, just a little bit. And he, he, like, really shunned me for it for, like, ages. He was, oh, you can't cook pot noodle and all this here. But then that night, he sit to sleep, and I'm on my, f and I'm on my phone watching a movie, and he, all he hears, uh, like, because I'm wearing earphones, and then I take them out, and I'm all, what? And he's all, fucking bastard, can't even cook pot noodle. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure he was sleep talking? Like, I, I, I'm, I'm 100% sure. I was, I was about to... Literally cry with laughter. It was so funny. <laughs> it's amazing how subconsciously people can just say shit like that and remember. I, you know, I'm really scared that I talk in my sleep, or at least I've done it like once. Apparently, I I don't do that. I, I remember as well. Being I like mumble sorry. my sleep, but that's about it. I was in a call with Smalls one day, and she fell asleep in the middle of the call. I. <laughs> It was me and Sonic. I think I've said this before, but obviously not here in the podcast. But she, she was just sleeping, and me and Sonic were there, and then we're just like, is Small still there? And just like, I think she's sleeping. He was like, is she? He's like, I think I hear her snoring. And then we we're out. Sonic kept telling me to leave her, and I was just like, I'm just going to kick her from the call. Because obviously she's sleeping, and it'd be like weird to just listen to her sleep. She wasn't snoring, but she was like, you can hear her breathing, basically. Mm -hmm. You know, like, you know, just how a person breathes. <laughs> and then, like, I just ended up... They were breathing like a person. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, that, obviously, like a person, not like, you know, whatever is not a person. <laughs> like a cat. Cats do. Cats don't breathe. What? Hmm, yeah, that explains why, we, you know, we don't have any cats in the world. They just die the second they're born. <laughs> That's what happens with it. <laughs> All right. I mean, rocks don't breathe. Oh, they're alive, right? I don't know why we're sure. talking about rocks, but rocks okay. A rock is alive. Yes. Because okay. they're talking about things living without breathing or something. I don't know. <laughs> so I went to uh, Best Buy. Uh, I went to Best Buy today and I bought three things. Guess what those amiibos? Amiibos? Another amiibo <laughs> and a third amiibo. I saw Lucario. Yep. I've shown all of them so far, holding them. Guess which three are. King K got one. Okay, um. <laughs> Sh 
shulk. And I have shown you a picture of, like, all my amiibos the other day, PK, because I obviously got them. You think I paid attention to each and every one of them? You have over 20 of them. No, which is why I'm hoping you would be the closest to get this answer. <laughs> I'm gonna guess... I mean, I got one of them. I have more than half of lost you know. <laughs> Ness. No, I already have Falco. I definitely got an amiibo that hasn't come out yet, PNK. I, yeah. Oh, it's not even out yet. Okay. Um. Tin Link. No. Gay. Huh? Gay. <laughs> Yoshi. Yoshi's an amiibo? Oh, yeah, he is. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's a character. He's trash. That's what the hell? Oh, oh, no, oh, 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 oh. Don't eat uh, yes. 8-bit Mario. No, I don't get... I only get this Little Mac. That's two. <laughs> you were holding it, so that's <laughs> Yeah. Two. Okay, so the third one. <laughs> Lucario. You said Lucario. Yes, I got two Lucario. I know. Here. Okay, it's a, you too? it's a fire on the Lucario. Okay. Okay, uh, Robin? Wait, Marth? You all oh, fucked up so hard. That, wait, did you say Marth here again? Yeah. Okay, then yeah. <laughs> huh. No, I got Lucina. What do you mean? I mean this is Lucina. Mm -hmm. Oh. Sweet. <laughs> so how many amiibos do I have now? 27. Shit, dude. Translation, too many. <laughs> yeah. Then again, some people have the entire collection yeah. all out right now. Some yeah. people have the I was, collection plus I was, the collection plus the food is here. Yoshi, I must get food. Sure. Speaking of things, I'll be back. Oh my god, we, we, so, we, 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 we get to take was, control! So right, I was I was watching uh, Shadow's favorite streamer right. recently, and You'd like um, him. he he has like all his amiibos. Oh, he has everything. Like, yeah, but they're all Seriously? like still in their packages. They're yeah, all still they're... packed up. Why? And and he shadows them, aren't. He customizes like, some of them, but most of them he keeps in the box. And like the other day, he was debating on taking them out because uh, he was playing with Mario Maker, and Zeus and Samus didn't come out yet, and he wanted to get the Zeus and Samus skin. And he's just like, I want to take it out so bad, but since I don't, because <laughs> he had the Japanese version. Oh. Well. Wow. So he's just like, I don't want to take it out, but I want to take it out. Literally, well, the, they kind of kind of keep the value if they're still in the box, right? Yeah, but you don't use them. <laughs> That's why you unbox them, right? I am, well, because I somewhat use them. I actually haven't used these. I haven't registered these three new ones I got. Have you registered everyone else? Yeah, I re there's like an Amiibo app thing in, in uh, Wii U. It's not really an app. It just lets you play like a random game, uh, mm -hmm. a random really old game. And I kept registering more and more to get the Kid Icarus one. It took me like 20 Amiibos actually to finally get it. <laughs> totally worth it. <laughs> so I finally got the... Hi, PNK. <laughs> you just see him come back and leave. I finally got the Kid Icarus. Give me like two seconds. And I got... What is going on? I'm actually kind of annoyed that putting this hit doesn't get you the Kid Icarus game. Well, what? Uh, it's it's a thing. You 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 hear when you. Know. That's a thing. Are you doing things? We're doing you. What? what kind of things? What did I miss? You. Everything. Who did you break? You. I'm just gonna say you. <laughs> Every time. Yeah. Every time. Oh my god, you guys! The other day I was watching a movie. Guess which movie? It's also T. I, oh my! I was in such a movie mood the other day. I don't know why. I ended up watching like four movies. Because PMK was a little dicky bitch and didn't watch Guardians of the Galaxy with me, which we're watching today. Now, <laughs> that it's that time of year. The time? It's that time where we watch the movie. Holy shit. So, <laughs> what topics do we have to go through, PMK? Um, My PL. I think there was more PL stuff I was going to talk about. I just kind of blanked out and we got distracted by Dream Talk. Nice meme. Nice dream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, okay. It was only a matter of time. <laughs> See, how would we, how do we get people? That's the only question. Like, we can get random YouTube people. There was this one person that was talking to me in my YouTube channel who seemed pretty cool. Uh, I can't Somebody say. was talking to you on your YouTube? Yeah, because I have 20... People find you? Yeah, because I have 21 subscribers that I don't, oh God. don't provide anything with. I was going to start streaming at some point, but I was going to stream Pokemon Insurgents, but... Since I lost it on my, since I lost, what I was gonna do is I was gonna trade a Pokemon from one of my main playthroughs to that other one. 
because I couldn't get that Pokemon to like halfway into the game and it wouldn't take me too long. So I was gonna do that and then stream that new playthrough, but that didn't go very well. Because <laughs> my Mac kind of broke in the place. It's working in a sense. Why would you stream with the Mac? No, I'm not gonna stream in the Mac. I just needed I need the Pokemon is in the Mac version, because I have the game in the Mac version. So I gotta trade that Pokemon, but it's in the Mac version and my computer broke before I could trade it. Okay. So, I, okay, now when you say it broke, what exactly happened? Uh, the dust, the dust, the fan was really dusty, and obviously it's like really hard to clean, so I got really dirty and damaged, and that damaged the hard drive. So, the hard drive... Oh, damaged the hard drive. Yeah, well, because yeah. it's really dusty. Um, hmm. So, they're going to replace the fan and the hard drive, but I don't know if my, what's in the hard drive is recoverable, which is why I want to play Pokemon Insurgents with you, PK. But, like, do it. <laughs> Just do it. Just do it? Yeah. I'll consider it if you actually do the Shia LaBeouf pose. I have to get up. Yeah. <laughs> I... Don't do it. Just let your dreams be dreams. Can I do it when we're done? Let your memes be memes. <laughs> That's all this, this chat has become now. <laughs> yeah. That's no, we also became breadcrumbs. We became... Well, we started giving people breadcrumbs. Thank you, no. Because we're poor. I wish my, my food was here. I wish my food was Mine's here. Exist. I have Burger King. What'd you order? I want to eat something now, and I just ate like an hour ago. Sayu, let's go out and eat. Because <laughs> I'm hungry. You're in did fucking New York. Did you, did you just ask Sayu out? Oh. 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 <gasps> Pretty much. I just asked Sayu to go on a date, which is kind of what that would be. Ooh. Which, no. It wouldn't have to be a date. I'm it's just getting food. Now it, ha now it has to be. If it's if I ask Lewis to go out like and eat or like just do something, it technically be a day. Just I don't swing that way. It depends on what, how you the look incest at way or the gay way. What, how would it be incest if they're not related? <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. Well, are, aren't I full of shit? Lewis I'm not an American. Well, they're, they're, never they're mind. just friends. They're not related. I thought they were cousins. Someone told me they were cousins. They're only Americans. <laughs> Lewis and I are like super close. Well, we well we still are, but like we don't we can't hang out anymore. Just not physically. Yeah. <laughs> Lewis is never here. He's missing the podcast. <sighs> I mean, he was here for the first two. You were here for the this last one. one. I was there for the first one. one. I was here for part of the second one. I stayed for about four minutes. Yeah, you just yeah. left. You just yeah, that was the second one, not the first one. You, didn't even you completely missed like the first one. Thirty minutes. Yeah. 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 I got a busy okay. schedule. Sure. Okay, so, there was another thing. Back to the whole PL subject of stuff, talking about things. Oh well, yeah, how are we going to find people? <laughs> Do a criteria said, needs to be filled. If you meet people that seem cool, introduce them to us, and then we'll decide from there. That's how that's going to be. I keep having, I, there's like a burp stuck right in like, See, like, at this point, wants to come mm -hmm. out, but it's not. <laughs> Rest in peace, Fiend K. What? Mr. Beast. Wait, am I dying? Yeah. Again? <laughs> Fuck. Right, okay, so back to the whole PL talk. In the first breadcrumbs, I jokingly said, we are the Phoenix Legion, right? And then we kind of went from there. Okay, I know we've been Pigeon Legion for, like, forever. Are we changing to the Phoenix Legion? I would like to propose pot potential name change. So first up, where'd Dave go? How long has he been gone? <laughs> He just kind of left while I was talking. To <laughs> <laughs> Potential name change? Nope. <laughs> he's missing. Oh, Shadow just got up and what? What he? What he what's he doing? Oh, he he's he's getting food or something now. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, fine. We'll we'll save that talk for a little bit because we are basically at the halfway point. So as I say every week, which we still have yet to get responses to. If you guys have questions for any of us, let us know in the comments below with the hashtag breadcrumbs so we know to answer it in the next episode. Or Done already. Talk to us on, no, there's the halfway point. Okay. Halfway point. Or talk to us on Twitter. I link I've I've linked mine, Shadows, and Dave's in the description. I don't know what who else fuck? here has a Twitter, I have a Twitter that actually uses it. You do? Okay. I have a Twitter. Yeah, okay, everybody who has one and actually uses it, let me know after this is done so I can mm, put you in the I description really and stuff. Use. If you want to get questions on your Twitter. If not, then don't give it to me. What? These are chicken fries. PMK, let's talk about your channel until these things come back. What are um, you doing? You see, you, you made an announcement the other day. I did. About not streaming as much, but doing something else. Yeah, because I like 
I don't have like time because I sleep too much. Right. Well, Stop there's something that needs to change. If we raise money nights. for charity, will PMK stop sleeping like a bear? Okay, dude. I work nights, so I get home like six or seven in the morning. And then you sleep until that leads to sleeping till like four or five, which is basically eight or nine hours. Right. Okay. And then you've got like five hours to do whatever you want. And you spend like two of it streaming. <laughs> well, three usually. Oh yeah, right now. Wait, well, never mind. Usually three. But yeah, I'm gonna do those less often because uh, they are fun, and I like the viewer interactivity and stuff. Most people don't have time for streams. I usually don't have time for streams watching them, so I'm gonna go back to regular videos and stuff. So speaking of that, on Monday. New Let's Play is starting. I'm not going to say what it is. You'll find out on Monday. Pokemon Insurgent, guys. <laughs> Until dawn. And before. And before I get like a message. I don't have a PlayStation 4, Sayu. And before okay. I get... Okay. Yeah. Well, then later it's not until dawn. Super Mario Maker? It's not really a Let's Play. Yeah, that was. That's, that's more of a stream-worthy game than Let's Play. How do you Let's Play a Mario Maker? <laughs> We're just like individual videos on Hunter Mario Challenge, but that those could take either forever or not long at all. But no, not Mario Maker. Naruto took four hours to beat a level. Yeah, but Dude, have you guys like seen that Game Grump video yeah, where... It wasn't like... What? Have you guys seen that Game Grump video where it's like... Fuck! I literally wouldn't beat away from fucking beat! What the I fuck?! I have not seen that one, no. I so unprofessional on the phone. It does that. Get off the phone. It's not like I was walking, talking to someone in the middle. <laughs> I hate everything. Mm. Okay, but uh, have you guys seen that game, the Game Grump series, where they play Mario Maker levels, which are made by Ross? And yeah, I heard that he makes a lot of like stupid, difficult ones. Yes, something. they're really funny to watch. Or at least watch Aaron play them, because he's just raging over them so over and Ross over. Ross make them and Aaron plays them or something. I yeah. know that works. Well, Danny also plays them, but I mean, it's, ah. it's, it's Aaron who gets more frustrated. Mm. I have yet to play more than I have to Mario Maker because I go to Nintendo World and they have it. <laughs> Shadow, if we were the Game Grumps, who would be Aaron and who would be Danny? In the the Games Crumb? If we were the Game Grumps, who would be Aaron and who would be Danny? Okay, first I need to... Between the two of us. First I need to know who they are. You don't even know who the Game Grumps are? Oh, I, I, for, I forgot that Pigeon Legion is just Shadow and uh, PMK. Okay, the Game Grumps are well, I'm not hey. only two people, but mostly two people. That's why I'm just saying. So I think I think I Shadow fits are, for the role of Aaron because he gets angrier than PMK. I think what, what, Shadow. What are we Have you seen me play Smash Bros? Dave's, Dave's here. Dave's here. Dave's here. Announcement. Announcement. PMK or Mario Maker. What did I miss? Announcement. PMK is going to announce someone, then you left. Okay, in the first episode. I jokingly refer to us as the Phoenix Legion. I was going to propose a, an official name change. It's like, yes, we've been the P yeah, the, the Pigeon. We have been the Pigeon Legion for a long time now. And like, we're kind of starting things anew here with breadcrumbs and stuff. So I was going to propose, potentially, unless like everybody is against it, a name change to the Phoenix Legion. Like it. Wait. That's the what? Your <laughs> That's your symbol, PMK. How would this work? You still have a. I would set the pigeon on fire and call it a <laughs> phoenix. <laughs> like literally, I could just take my current YouTube icon and just like make it look like it's on fire and be like, "There, phoenix." <laughs> it was a pigeon, then it died and rose from the ashes as a phoenix. <laughs> See, that's the thing. It's it's fitting because we die a lot. Are we discussing this now? Yes. Okay. Well, I'm just so used to the pigeon legion. Just... That is true. I can. Still... In my opinion. That's true. Oh, I we should find new legion. games to play soon. So... I can still in call my opinion. Coming back with like a name change and everything, we should at least find a game that we can all play. Yeah. Wait, wait, Nate, what? In my opinion, the Phoenix Legion sounds a bit too edgy. Uh, it sounds, uh, you know, a bit tryhard, if you know what I mean. And that's really not what we are. Well, like. I mean, that's why I was saying Phoenix Legion and not going full on like Dragon Legion or something, because that would be kind of tryhardy. Yeah, man, but so like the plus, Phoenix still, Legion. The, the, the abbreviation still stays, still stays as PL. Yeah, well, true. barely. So I mean, it's still pronounced. It's not pronounced to PL. It's pronounced FL. <laughs> Never in my life have I ever said that to anyone. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. I know what I've, like, just read the abbreviation. I sometimes just have, have like, said Thepple to myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. The Thepple. Yeah. 
built up. At least in my opinion, I feel it's a bit too edgy, you know, a bit too serious compared to what we. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I know we're not, like, fully serious, but we can turn phoenixes into a pretty joking thing, too, I'm sure. Well, like, can again, we? especially if we die a lot in games. We could just make the, the phoenix legion our enemy. Yeah. But, like, see, because, like, it could be, like, we're not phoenixes in the sense of being, like, all powerful and shit. We're phoenixes in the sense that we keep dying but keep coming back up <laughs> and then keep going down again. Sounds like a motivational speech, to be honest with you. <laughs> Once you die, you have to come back. Oh, just do it. Rise of the ashes. Yeah. Except half the time we don't even end up in ashes. Not even half the time. Most of the time we don't even end up in ashes. Yeah, usually. We'll just pretend the ashes part is just a metaphor. We'll just like rising up from whatever. In the fucking actually. Rising up from the bodies it's a metaphor. or something. I don't know. Okay, we'll talk more about that ourselves later. Also, if you guys in the comments below want to give your input, feel free to. We'd have to, okay, for recruitment, we'd have to resort to what Nomen did, which is picking up a stray dog in the water. A.k.a. Nate. I was about to say Nate's a dog. <laughs> a Nate? What, what kind That's of dog? bullshit? Me and Nomen Nate's started talking, and then she was like, this is a pigeon legion. I'm like, what the fuck? That's she was all... I mean, she, I mean, though, like, basically what Shadow said, though, is kind of true. She basically kept coming to us, like, can we add him? Can we add him? So it's basically like, like can we keep him? Can we keep him? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, man, because you guys would You're not. You're basically Noman's like, dog. Is? And that's amusing. Noman's dog? Oh, shit. I'm a bad And then now boy. she left, and now we're stuck with you. We're taking care of <laughs> Noman's dog. I mean, she's here. I talked to her. Person sent me, like, seven messages. What the fuck? I mean, like, she's here, yes, but not... Nearly as much. I talk to her like almost <laughs> way too much sometimes. The other day, yesterday, I think it was. The she other day, yesterday. She messaged herself. Well, her time was two in the morning and it was two in the afternoon. For me. And she couldn't like sleep, and we just started talking about like random things because she was sleep drunk. <laughs> that's not an amoeba. What is that? Why do I have to always be holding an amoeba? <laughs> Because that's, that's you do. Because you have that's 20 your thing. your thing is holding amiibos, my thing is eating on during the thing, and apparently Dave is doing that too. He has a... McDonald's. Oh! Well, oh, mine's Burger King. What's yours? Um... Where's yours, where's yours from? Mine's from... A random restaurant. Wow. Basically. That'd be the best restaurant name, actually. Wait, McDonald's? You start a restaurant, call it The Random mm. Restaurant. Hey, PMK. It's like, I went down to The Random Restaurant, it's like, which one? The Random Restaurant. <laughs> which one? That'd, That'd be a good idea. It's cheeseburger. Or, or, to name a bar, a random bar. Since when did Burger King... Oh, we're going to The Random Bar again? I walked into a I random bar. I can't even hear you, Shadow. Burger. When did Burger King do delivery? They don't. How'd you get... I don't live alone, Shadow. Oh, someone bought it. Remember, I do not live alone. I know, but like, I thought someone was knocking the door and brought me. I did. That's how I didn't get it. No, no, no. That was the sound of the garage door slamming. But you can hear that and just like run. Well, not like the, not like the like big garage door, but the door in the house leading to the garage. Oh God. That one. The, 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 the garage door opened. That means it's time for food. Uh -huh. Attack. <laughs> I'm so tired. I need a nap. Slap yourself. No. I like a nap, but I mean, not like I need to be able to. If you do it, I will slap myself. <laughs> but you this? need to slap yourself first. Just let's it. just slap ourselves, okay? Let's go. Everybody slap yourself. I'm not getting paid enough for this. That was me. And then okay, what if, okay, what like... if we double your wages to... How, how many breadcrumbs are you being paid? Wasn't it like four croutons at I... first? Or See, look, we yeah. can't be paid in breadcrumbs anymore because we're phoenixes. <laughs> double, double we paid, to, paid in ashes yeah, or something. Yeah, I'm gonna double your crouton wages to breadcrumbs. <laughs> That's how math works now. <laughs> From breadcrumbs to croutons. Croutons to breadcrumbs. You're, you're getting less but more. <laughs> Instead of two croutons, I'll give you four breadcrumbs. <laughs> <laughs> Is that better? probably still less? Yeah, well, maybe not. Yeah. I, what was, what, wasn't this like decided when we did the hundredth episode? And, like something like that. I was being paid for once because I was doing good. Okay, slap yourselves, go. Why? I already slapped myself. You have to okay, go. Okay, you already did. Shadow. Why are you forcing me to do this on camera? I don't do a lot of things on. Camera. I will. Ah. Uh, You're it. probably gonna hear it too. You're gonna hear it. Oh god. Why do you care it. if it's on camera? Uh, this, is, this is gonna look so stupid. Everybody else here's on camera. Except for Nate. Ow! Mm -hmm. 
Sure. Okay. Dave, your turn. I missed it! Fuck! <laughs> Dog. Do it again! I'm not slapping myself again. Like for sake, Sai. Wow, oh, Sai was pissed over there. <laughs> Nate, okay. do it. Got it. Do what? Oh god, you were not. Too fucking... Do what? You looked away again, didn't you? <laughs> Did you look away again, Sai? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have to slap <laughs> myself <laughs> away at the worst possible time. It was very brutal. <laughs> yeah. do, I to, do I have to slap myself? Or is this just... You just literally clap I mean, your hands and we'll believe right. you. No, right, listen, right. Well, I'm actually going to slap you. myself. Suggested that. You guys have to believe me. I'm going to slap a myself, snap, right? Take a Snapchat video. Them. I'll take a Snapchat. Right, hang on. <laughs> what to me. GMK, what's your Snapchat? I don't need it. <laughs> No, I have Snapchat. Send it to Sayum and Channel. I don't think I have Sayum. I gotta annoy you with Snapchat again. Actually, no, I got a new Snapchat. Doesn't matter, right? I'll, I'll just. You guys just have to believe me, right? Alright, you ready? Three, two, one. No, wait, no, that wasn't hard enough. No, I barely heard that. <laughs> oh, that was a stinger. Alright, oh, couldn't hear it. <laughs> oh, shit. I couldn't hear it. Ooh. That was a big old red in there. Alright, I guess we will have to believe Nate hit himself. I completely forgot why we were doing that. You bet it on yeah. me. Alright, because Shadow said he was tired, so I told him to slap himself. Oh, I told TMK to do a bet, and uh, it was basically did. a $5 bet. That if do you... a bet. Oh yeah, he wants to be called casting instead, apparently. Yeah, if you can he wants call... to become what? He wants to be called casting instead of Shadow. That's not gonna happen, lad. Yeah. Oh, come on, casting. Like, the problem with that is we're all used to calling you Shadow already, so I don't understand why you want to switch. Because more people call me Casting than Shadow. And Shadow. <laughs> casting? More people being who? Narrow. Uh, that, that's one. And everyone in the Discord group, actually. Yeah, but you met them after us. Yeah. That's true. But, uh, we're the, we're the we, we hold the seniority over them. Shadow, yeah. please. That's, that's like true. me making you guys call me Cake. Okay, Cake. The difference is... <laughs> The difference with that, Nate, is you've, your real name is Nate, and Cake. That's not my you. real name. Okay. I wasn't christened Nate. What do you think? What, what is this? <laughs> your shortened name. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> your name is. The shortened version of your real name is Nate. It's like Chris and Christian. Like, the hell? No one calls me Christian besides Dave. But, like, if someone knows. And Lewis. No, he calls me Chris most of the time. And I usually hear him call you Christian. True. Either way. He, Either when way. he's calling me, he usually says Chris, but when he's like mentioning me in something, like, oh, when Christian does mm -hmm. this, he does that. Yeah, because like nicknames and shit. Yeah. Uh, there's something else I was gonna say. No, he calls me Chris. Fighting the rape boss, very intense. Give me a second. Being quiet. But still, like, calling you casting instead of be like, instead of calling me PMK, calling me Axel. Yeah. yeah like, nobody really edge. does that yeah. unless they've only met me on like, Twitch or something. I tried doing that for like two days and then gave up. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really work. Well, people also call me Woodick on on Twitch and like people in the Attack on Titan game call me Dave because my name there is Dave. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like just casting just sounds better than Shadow because like Shadow just sounds so standard. I do like I guess Shadow, but like it just sounds so standard. If you my feel better, it, it is kind of common. My if you feel better, I have you saved as Christian Shadows. Christian Shadows. That sounds terrifying. <laughs> that sounds like it would be some kind of like cult or something. <laughs> Have Christian Shadows will silence you. Oh no. In the nights. In I'm the okay. shadows. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. watching. <laughs> they are always watching. You know what I feel like doing? I feel like just like... Just like Jesus. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Jesus Christ, in shadows. Christian is uh. <laughs> what the fuck did that come? From? I feel like doing like a whole like store. Wait, I got a BRB. <laughs> wow. Fruit. The root. Okay. Question for people who are watching at home: How many of you out there have the name Christian but are actually atheists? <laughs> Who's not watching at home? People that are on the bus? I don't know. People have phones. People no, are they don't. houses? Yeah, if, if you're not at your own house, you're not allowed to answer. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. Mm. I got a walking bag. <laughs> just, just, just saying. 
But okay, I felt like doing a whole like history on the PL as in like what ever since the beginning, <laughs> basically just story and just. Okay, we started out. I invited oh, Ace. What exactly are you gonna describe? You're gonna say like three words and like something. Just, just whatever. Go. I did start with three words. I said I started out. <laughs> anyway, we started off. It was just me and Slant at the first. It was an unofficial. We didn't even really have a name at that point. And mostly started with Attack on Titan stuff. Because apparently that was fun at the time. It was all hype and stuff. And that was like back in 2013. Oh my god. Two freaking years ago! I don't know. Yeah. Jeez. It's also been like, yeah, it's also been a little over a year since Smash 3DS came out. Mm -hmm. So almost a year since Smash Wii U. Anyway, we started off like that, playing Attack on Titan and stuff, and then like, we started doing sub-games, which Slaneth actually joined for at the time. <gasps> anyway, nice. Shadow joined, like, well, Shadow and Lewis, I think, joined okay. one well, of the first ones. First, it was uh, Ace, who and me. Uh, okay, but like, you showed up to a sub-game first. Yeah. You and Lewis well, appeared at the sub-games first. Lewis and then, like very much later. Uh, not very much later, but first it was me and uh, me and Ace. We joined your first portal. Okay, but like I remember, I did invite Ace first, so that's because you didn't show up to the sub games that I invited Ace at. Otherwise, you would have been invited first. Yeah, no, I was a. Uh, but you were the first one. You were just like talking to us. I, I joined the game and I was playing with you guys. And the second one, I was just like, oh, he's screaming, and I was in a home. I was on. Yeah, I know. Like at the time, I was like, okay, he seems like a cool dude. As then we were, and we were like over analyzing your name. That was fun. Oh my god, you guys did like a whole history on it. That was fun. We <laughs> spent like five, ten minutes talking, like analyzing the name, casting shadows. Like, it's like, is he casting them in a movie? Is he casting them like casting shadows? You just did, like it the baby like, name. It's like it's cast it was great. It was fun. So then Ace and Shadow were in, and then who was the third? Sonic. It's monkeys. No, monkeys was Blues. monkeys and I joined at the, the third? same time. Monkeys and I joined at the same time. Ah, okay. Which was the and time. then, I know Sai you joined later. Yeah, yeah. Like she was a I joined later. Someone and just called and me. Nate. What about no, Lewis? Yeah. yeah, I was like, wasn't it like uh, Sai you, Dave, Small, and someone else? The one we yeah. Yeah. Right? That you. British guy. The one we don't. Right? I said his name yeah. like four times, but okay. Shh. <laughs> but but um. I remember you. His name was Yannick. We know that. Okay. I remember <laughs> on. having uh, a member called Mimi. Mini, right? Mini, oh. Mini, Her. Mini, Mini, whatever. Yeah. And then things happened that will not be discussed, and she was kicked. So, uh, what was your uh, decision making in adding four new people at the same time? First of we all, we hadn't it was had me. people added in a while, and I felt like obligated to add people at the time, which. <laughs> It turned out to be all right. We still have three of those four, so. I was really surprised that you chose me there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that, that reminds me. Funny thing with Dave. Like there was another Dave who had also been at the stuff before that. I thought this Dave was that Dave, so I was like confused. But yeah. So Dave was an and accident. I was like accident. <laughs> Dave was an accident, but he's still here, so all is good. It, it was a good accident. <laughs> Man, I sucked up the PMK so hard to get in the Pigeon Legion, I swear. I went to every, every single No, it single had nothing stream. to do with you. It was like 99% Nomen. I, rem <laughs> I, I remember. every like stream. I tried my best. No sub games. I was like, dead try hard mode. I was like, I'm getting in. I don't care. Yeah, it was like 99% Nomen. It, the reason it, they might, got in. it might be possible that I was like in one sub games and like in one game yeah. like earlier. And... I think the one that, like, one. I remember one time where you weren't streaming, but Sonic was, was like, hosting yeah, the stream I was having him, like, for you. For me. Yeah. And then the, the stream afterwards, the next week, I think, got cancelled or something. And then oh, yeah. after that, you streamed again, and I was there, yeah. and then, like, and I think... Like, I thought you were a different Dave that was actually at a bunch of previous ones, but you weren't. So I'm still like, hey, when did that Dave get a mic? It's like, he's had one. It's like, what? No, he hasn't. <laughs> and I added you, and I was like, oh, this is a different Dave. Hi! I so remember... I you can still stay, though. <laughs> I remember myself and Noman were playing a game, and then suddenly you guys start flooding in, and I'm like, oh, no, is this the real legendary Pigeon Legion? I've got to act cool and all this, and I'm like, these guys are Berts. Like, these guys are nerds. I think I was, like, the first one to join that game, and then like I sent the link in the chat, and then 
people were just like, Yo. I think so, yeah. <laughs> was I there for that? I don't remember that. Well, because you never played the game willingly like that, PMK. I did. Like, I did it first. Okay, but like, I if I were to send, Hipster. if I were to send the server in the chat, you would not just join um, in a call. Okay, yeah, in that situation, probably. You should if there was a call, then you probably would join. But we just randomly joined the game, all quiet to each other, and then I think we could call later, maybe. But like, we still just joined, and it was just like trying to show off. I think. I think. I think we just kept trying to get like a thousand damages or something. Hang on, guys. I'm lagging out a yeah, bit. I think, I think that's what Sonic ended up in because he was like, "Okay, this guy is like awesome." Add him. <laughs> yes, he did. I really feel like playing sure. the game again now that we're talking about it. I've tried playing. Mm. I sort of kind of vaguely have, but at the same time, it's like it still hasn't been updated since January. Seriously? So, well, the, the thing is, I checked anyway. it is fun with people, but for like same one or player. two hours, and then it's like, yeah, like the same thing, thing again. Because like, <laughs> at this point, we're pretty much used to everything that can happen in it. Yeah. I mean, you, you, could, you could use RC mod, which would give you like a couple more hours with it yeah, to have like fun. Thing, like, Mods can only go so far. Yeah. Exactly. Depending on the mod. Although with Skyrim, they can kind of change things. Yeah, so we're talking yeah. about Skyrim today. That could be another topic for another uh, day. Getting mods in Skyrim is the scariest thing ever. Cause, like, That's a topic for another day. We'll save that for another time. We could probably talk for like an hour about Skyrim. Oh, well, let's we extend this to. another hour so we can talk about Skyrim. Like, didn't you buy Skyrim or something? Yeah, I did buy Skyrim for like $5 because it was like the Steam Winter Sale or something. Nice. I guess uh, I seem, no, summer, summer sale, summer sale. I bought it during the summer, and then I have- I already have like 60 hours in it. <laughs> I think I, I have Xbox. like three hours on it. Gee, I you're a mess I never, right, I, I, I never really got into Skyrim. You have to play past the first three hours. You have to. I remember I installed a whole bunch orbit. of mods. Or you could just try some mods. <clears throat> you also lose yourself in Skyrim. Like, yeah. you'll be playing, you'll be, I'm just gonna play for like an hour, and then I'll go and do whatever like, else I have to any do. Any good RPG, if I don't lose myself in it, it's probably not the best. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did you guys Like, that's the thing, Dragon Age Origins. I streamed it a couple times, I could not really, I don't, I never it wasn't really wasn't clicking like I really for me it. either, I, I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't yeah, like, get into it, I felt big. like I, I, have, I was forced. To like, like it. one of the things with it, the combat of it, yeah. like yeah, I've been, okay. I've gotten a lot more used to RPGs and stuff, having more actiony combat. Dragon Age Origins, like it's just like the same action just, over and Yeah, because it like like it. And it's very difficult. Like I'm on yeah. like, I was on normal, and I still gonna beat this one dude. So. Uh, PMK, did, did or anyone, did anyone try that uh, game that Etika kind of did a video on the like, uh, platformer RPG one with that girl? I don't follow Etika anymore, so. I have no idea. What you're oh talking no. About. Well, kind of watch, go back into like a couple of Etika's video, creative videos. Do you remember the title of the game? Because that would help a lot. Uh, I have it like right here. Let me just. Wait, you said it was like a platform game? Is that the one that you like linked to us or somebody linked to us? I don't think I. In, Indivisible. No. Indivisible that's somebody. Site, that's what it's called. Indivisible. Uh, oh, yeah, I saw him up with the video. I was like, I have no idea what that is. Don't care. So I didn't look. It's really good, actually. I played like the demo for you, and it was so much fun. But the final boss, hard as hell. It took me like a good two hours to finally beat him. Like at first, when I played the game, it was easy enough to kind of just bullshit through most of it because it's a lot of it like involves just a couple of button pressing. You don't have to know. Like it's not button pressing, but it just involves just hitting them a lot and just you know the simple things. But after that final boss, you had to like strategically like get your combos you gotta no save up your uh, like meter bar which like because different characters use different ones one heals and that healing one is very important but at the same time you want to like do some sort of offensive one against the enemy but like you couldn't use it right away because there's at some point where he spawns dudes and you kind of wanted to save it when he spawns the dude so you can get that damage there and you don't like lose all of it and then you have to have to handle the dudes and oh my god, I think how I beat it was, I, I, like, I realized you can target different enemies. It's very awkward to do so though, because you, you just do different combos at the end of doing it. But you have, to, you have to target different enemies. And I ended up killing the enemies first instead of the boss. And oh my god, that boss took me forever. It took me way too long. I've never had such a difficulty against like a strategy boss ever in my life. <laughs> like, uh, that's the thing about games now. I, I don't know. It's lost something since I started understanding what I was doing, you know? Like, I was, whenever I was younger, I played like Crash Bandicoot and Spyro and all. 
I got so lost in those games, but I had no idea what I was doing. Mm -hmm. But since I started understanding stuff more and getting more strategic, it seemed to have lost something. Like, boss fights aren't really that hard anymore. Well, it's not even maybe, that. It's just they don't seem as fun anymore. Maybe that's games itself, or maybe it's just me getting better. But in my like opinion, it's lost more... some real challenge. Like, Crash Bandicoot was the hardest game out there for me. But, like, nowadays, like, these games are just all so easy, and I don't know why. Yeah, because, like, they want to be more accessible to, the, like, a wider audience. Like, draw more people in, so they don't want to be, like, super hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah but like it's Souls, stupidly challenging. challenging, you know? It's not It's not challenging, it's, like, supposed to be challenging, which is just tiring, you know? Yeah, I don't like those kind of games. Like, I like games with challenges. I mean, like, thing is... If you know what you're doing, it's you not as cool. bad. Like, it still will get you if you screw up. I missed the whole so lives you thing, you know? It if you get better. So it's like... It, so, like, it's kind of more like real difficulty rather than artificial True, yeah. difficulty. Like, a thing's just being like tougher to kill. Like, like, there's just too much with Dark Souls in general. So I'm like... Mm. Same thing as they played, though. Like, I feel like... It just looked hard. <laughs> like, you die by just things, and I was just like... Yeah. Yeah. I'll say so far, Dark Souls Two is harder. It's like much more limited healing earlier on. It's like one of the uh, hardest Dark Souls bosses I've fought. That's bad. Pretty... You guys answer that while I think. <laughs> the hardest. Huh? Okay. Anything hardest that has like the title in boss in gaming? Or I haven't played. Like, Does gym leaders count? <clears throat> yeah. The okay. final boss. Whitney from fucking. Oh, Whitney was Gentile. pain in the ass. I fucking hated Whitney. Fucking, like fucking milk tank. <laughs> you know that? It's just real. Oh my god. That's like everybody. That's like the bane of everybody's um, existence. Fucking milk tank. It's a freaking milk tank. What else? I have been hearing some people. Yeah, saying, Altaria like, is really Winona hard. Winona and then Altaria was hard. Like Omega Ruby yeah, is not hard. hard. But like hard the Omega original Pokemon, games. Like, holy Omega Ruby is pretty Pokemon's easy. The same. Pokemon's lost kidding. it all after generation like three or four. Like things no, started getting uber me? easy. What are you fucking That's... talking about? Pokemon Black and White were like the hardest games out there. Uh, they were no. like the, the worst yeah, games out up. there. The worst Pokemon black games, and white, black and white. They're, they're pretty good. I fucking hate black and white. I can't fucking beat them. I can't fucking. I... Wow. I like black and white. I like black and white. Black and White 2 slightly less so, probably because they came out it. so soon after Black and White, but they were still pretty good. And so was, so was X and Y. Omega I did, I did X and Y in one like, sitting in about three hours, and, and it was y. just, it, I felt no journey out of it. Yeah, I beat it in like a week or so, and it was like so disappointing. Because I paid like $40 for this game, uh, it's and like, I like with X and Y, like, like I week. feel like... Cool. Like X and Y, because like when I was going through Omega Ruby, and then like I after that, I already told Shadow this. I went back and played that played through X again. Like with Omega Ruby, I was way over leveled like the whole way through because I was lazy and kept the experience share on. I did the same thing with no, X, but, like, X and Y. That experience share ruined it. it. It's it made did. the game it. way too you can, easier. You can turn the game so can. easy. There's no grind anymore, and you just play through it and you win. Oh my god. This I is what I did, right? I mean, do you really want it, to I, I wanted to prove I have it. so much grinding. It's ridiculous. I wanted to prove that this game was bullshit. So I went out and I bred and bred and bred and I eventually got a 6 IV Wingle. And I beat the whole game with one Wingle. From start to finish. No, just Wingle. I pressed B after every fight. It, just... And it was level like it was level 100 by the end of it, which was just bullshit. So, like, what level was it? No, but even before that, there, there was no challenge. I was against electric types, and they'd take away like a quarter of my health at most. That sounds so sad. <laughs> Using a wingo. <laughs> should have used Caterpie. Awesome trainer who beat through all these rooms. Yeah, he had a wingo. Oh, he should have. He should have used the magic carp. That would have been a real challenge. Well, I have, a, I, have a shiny, I have a shiny magic card from Japan that knows Hydro Pump. Hacked? No, <laughs> it's, it's an event. I'm pretty sure the only hacked event. Magic card <laughs> is Splash. Go, well, Magic Card, you Splash! There is one that knows Hydro Pump that they give out in uh, Japan. It's super effective, what the fuck? I don't get what the point. <laughs> Of making moves that are so bad in Pokemon sometimes. 
I don't get the point in making Pokemon that are so bad, like Love Disc. That's true. I mean, yeah. they, like, they want to make it like a Pokemon still, world, so like not ever, all of them are going to be awesome. Yeah. I know for the longest time I, I didn't even remember that Dunsparce existed. And then I played Pokemon Mr. Judge Gates to Infinity. I haven't and I felt played so it yet. For it, like, well, I'm going to say you. That it's just like, was like moves, the best trend today. There's, moves, there's also guys, other Pokemon. You meet them early wow. on. They all die at the end. That's all. Oh shit! You also become like, a Pokemon. Kind of like how many? In the beginning. How many Mystery started. Dungeon games have you played? Oh my god, guys! All of them. All of them, oh, except nice. for the like ones that are exclusive to Japan. That reminds me of like, talking yeah. about Otherwise, hard boss them, fights I again. I don't know. I think it was in in Mystery Dungeon Two. Um, the last boss, really last of them, was Darkrai, and I never managed to beat that Pokemon. No, that's bullshit. Luxury, luxury on the second game. Oh my god! Right, no, so it had all. I don't think. Had, have you tried to beat like Dialga or Primal no, Dialga? Dial if in Mystery Dungeon, the only thing that's a challenge for that bosses was, was... is the bosses that aren't just one Pokemon, because you just get your yeah, partner to stun them and you whack them over and over again. You, have, you, get to, like, have, a group, you is... actually have to strategize in those games because if you just try to hit them, it doesn't work. It's yeah. not gonna work, amigo. You have to strategize, and it pisses me off because I just want to beat the game by pressing buttons. Yo, you're gonna Let my tiny child hurt do it once. If you play that game, I suggested like that. That's how that last boss was. Throughout like the whole game, a lot of it can just be pressing buttons. But in the end, the amount of strategy you have to like go from doing nothing to doing so much strategy in that last boss is insane. Because that last boss is ridiculous. I don't know you how. Still, I still don't know what game you're talking about. It's called Indivisible. I'll send you. A, send you. I'll send you a link to it. Oh yeah, send me a link. Yeah. All right. So we are. I just need to talk about MMOs. What is this? Yeah. Uh, I think next week. Ha. Huh, next week. Um. We could probably Yay! do an episode of Pokemon Talk. One of the we got things started a little bit here. But That's like, great. We could probably do an episode of Pokemon Talk. So that'll be next week. Uh, the boss in Pokemon should be fitting for more reasons than you might realize. I wanted to. Say. Anyway, Shadow, we're ending wait, the episode. Wait. Shush. So anyway, this has been the Legion of Majestic Birds. Possibly new official name next time. Who knows? <laughs> it's so nice to be Pigeon Legion. <laughs> <laughs> Till then, this is a game I'm for in those people. Yeah, Sayu. Bye. Sayu, we're ending. See you, nerds. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. We'll see you guys next week. Dun, 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 dun. Insert epic outro here. Oh!